hey what's up guys this is Jawad and I brought an other video sorry I'm bringing this video after three weeks and uh, the reason I was uh, quite busy with the life and uh, I hope you guys are doing uh, very safe and let's get started today topic is for uh, for the for those guys who are going to step in into the Cisco world and they wanted to know what is the difference between layer 2 and layer 3 switches so we are gonna talk about layer 2 and layer 3 switches without wasting any time let's get started first of all what is the switch what are the feature for the switch what it does actually it operates on data link layer and it is very intelligent device uh, it can work it only works i mean if you are we are talking about the regular switch it only works with the physical addresses which is a mac addresses and uh, it works with the fixed bandwidth i mean you cannot change the bandwidth and uh, the next thing uh, you see those uh, oci layer 7 and uh, if you look down i wrote over here layer 3 switch can go up to the network but layer 2 switch only works with the mac and llc physical addressing so let's get started let's go next uh, slide and see what types of switches are available in the market so there are two types of switches available in the market usually they called manageable and unmanageable unman switches so let's talk about the unmanageable switches unmanageable switches mean plug and play you go to the store you buy uh, 54 mbps 500 mbps 200 mbps a device bring it home just connect to your internet and start working you don't do any configuration you don't assign ips you, you really don't do anything so those type of switches are called unmanageable switches and if we are talking about the manageable switches then you have to do a type of configuration which is uh, if I say the Cisco switches they are manageable switches you have to configure IP addresses you have to configure IP routing if it is a multiple layer switch and a lot of other things you can deal with uh, Cisco switches so the mode mode of switches uh, is the same as the router and there are three modes user mode privileges mode and then the third one is a global configuration mode user mode is just for uh, uh, monitoring and privileges mode give you a little bit monitoring and little bit authentication type thing and then the global configuration mode is the mode where you do all the configuration you assign ips and you do you perform everything so it's a very important next we are going to talk about the multi-layer switch so multi-layer switch has a capability to operate on higher level of uh, layers when i talk about the multi-layer switch can perform the same as the router router can work with data link with the frames and then work with the packets at the network and then it can go to the transport and the session layer and the same is if i put i can type in the multi-layer multi-layer switch which can go above the regular layer 3 switch and uh, it can also perform routing and the switching function on higher speed and in order to use the routing functionality in in that switch in the multi-layer switch you need to enable it otherwise it's not gonna work i mean i can i can give you a demo if you want and down over here if you see these two pictures these are actually on the left side is a regular switch in the packet tracer on the, on the right side is a multi-layer switch let's get into the packet tracer or in the packet tracer all you need to do click on the first network devices then go here and click on the switches in the switches you just need to drag any switch and drop over here 29t60 is very common switch and then you go and get a multi-layer switch so if you look over here these are two switches okay i double click on it I go to the CLI as a regular switch and I double click on it CLI keep it on the top 
and the same thing keep it on the top and uh, okay so my background is white you can change this background and if you look on the left side it's a regular switch and you just hit and it starts so as I spoke we have uh, three types of modes so in order to go to the uh, the first enable mode you are going to type enable and then you are gonna say like suppose you wanted to run uh, you wanted to run a command which usually we use on uh, uh, you say IP routing and it's gonna say invalid input okay you go to config p and over here you say IP routing and it's not gonna recognize because this is a regular switch it's, it does not do any route or any switch so switching and routing you cannot perform on this switch but if you go over here press no and go to enable and then after enable configuration mode and over here if you type IP routing so you see it's, it's activated the IP routing now you can perform a different type of uh, uh, IP routing and switching techniques and you can connect WAN and it will work the same as the router and uh, yeah so this is a really cool thing about the layer switch so uh, layer switches actually also include some functions that require the ability to understand the IP address information of data uh, which is entering into the switch like such as tagging and usually router does do that and then the VLAN traffic and all these kind of function layer 3 multi layer okay multi layer switches they perform these type of function and uh, if you like uh, today video please subscribe my channel and support me and uh, thank you so much we'll see you soon with another video bye bye